Hello guys and welcome back again in another requested video which is the Mazda Skyactiv 2 liter engine. This engine is straightforward, it's uh, reliable, it's practical, it's, in, it's everything uh, a modern daily driving uh, inline 4 engine is, is should, or should be. Let's start with a inline 4 with a aluminium block and all right what are the specs the specs are right the bore all right the bore is 80 83 and a half right and the stroke stroke is 91.2 wow that's high actually all right now that's correct it has a dual overhead camshaft four valves plus cylinder aluminium no VVL cast 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 plus one let's see we all right the, it says here the US version has a 13.0 to 1 compression ratio let's see okay let's stay at 40 VVT for outcomes let's see does it have variable valve timing well actually it doesn't say here doesn't say here so no VVT plus one no turbo, no turbo charger only an actual aspirated direct injection single standard perfect 91 13.7 stay at 50 6000 and plus one again short cast let's see the power that I'm aiming for is 155 horsepower so this should be correct, but let's stick with 191 like this one. A 2 inch exhaust, 3 way reverse flow straight through, and plus 1 again. Right, the. Alright, so let's lower the ignition timing. Oh, that's crap. Mm -hmm. Wow, how did they manage it? Let's, let's take on 95 for a start. Um, Alright, so... At the start, everything is looking crappy. So let's see. Okay, and let's see if we make it like plus three here, plus three here again, and plus three here. Mm -hmm. How the hell did they manage it? Alright, our goal is 155 horsepower. How the hell did they manage it? I think it has VVT. Yeah, I think it has DVT. Nope. Mm -hmm. Wow, these these sky act sky active engines are just awesome. So let's see, 149 horsepower. Okay. 
150 horsepower. Yes, we are getting closer. No, it doesn't have a tubular. What does it? Hmm. Now it does have a 155 horsepower, so we need to decrease. Right and. I know, I know, I know. The engine at, in real life is not running on on 95 octane. But what should I do? The game sometimes is 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 a crappy. It's really really crappy. So we have to work with what we have. Last 10, really. I mean the engine really has a, a high compression ratio which is which is really not fair. Yes, I mean it runs at alright now we are perfect. 155 horsepower and 150 pound feet of torque. Mm-hmm. I mean yes, this engine I don't know, this engine is running on 91 in real, in real life, but in automation here, 13.0 to 1 compression ratio is really really high compression ratio. <clears throat> so you cannot run a 13.0 to 1 on 91 octane and make 155 horsepower. It's, I don't know, it's just impossible. You saw it. I mean, I did not make that make, make anything up. You saw everything. You saw every step. All right, let's see this engine. The Mazda Sky Active two-liter engine. Do you think do you think this engine has VVL? Because I mean I think the VVL VVL is a good thing, but unfortunately, unfortunately it will use more octane as you can see right now. If I want to drop the the cam profile, I need more fuel. Hmm. No, I don't want. I don't want to. Should, let's squeeze in a little, little bit of fuel and. Did we gain anything, or just this is just crap? Hmm. Eh. I mean, we have gained higher fuel efficiency. So, yes, let's put VVL. It's 
20.4 fuel efficiency which is better than the without the VVL and now we're still making 155 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque Actually now it sounds like uh, the real engine Alright guys, so this is the Mazda Sky Active 2 liter inline 4. I don't know if there is VVL in it or not, but I'm gonna guess that I think it doesn't have VVL. Okay, but there it is. Alright guys, you have seen it, you have enjoyed it, you, all, you know all the specs. I mean, I guess I know them all, but except the VVL and the VVT, but um, as you saw in automation, you cannot make this engine with 13.0 to 1 compression ratio with 91 octane. You have to use 95 or the engine will explode because we need 155 horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque because these are the real factory specs or the factory power and torque. Uh, the real engine should be more smoother and it should be less responsive and the, the, the reliability is good here and I think the real engine has more is more more fuel eco but you know we always try to make the real thing but uh, you know it's a replica so what what can you do because this is a Maz, Mazda Sky Active 2.0 liter 155 horsepower 4C which is 4 cylinder DFI direct, direct fuel injection VVL v, VVT dual overhead cam right so I hope really guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool videos like this one and um, I, I know this is not the only video for tonight I'm gonna make uh, other requests because uh, I have many requests and I was I was really really busy so I'm gonna make them all tonight so stay tuned guys for them I hope you enjoy them and I will see you in another video later and bye bye